If you're brand new to DaVinci Resolve, you might be wondering how you can create a custom zoom in on your clips, kind of like this. That's what we're talking about today. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's quick and easy. Let's jump into Resolve and check it out. Jumping into Resolve here, I am in the Edit tab, which is these icons down at the bottom here. And I've got a clip in my timeline and I have my Inspector open. So Inspector is right up here at the top right. If you can't find any of these things, come on up to Workspace and go to Reset UI Layout and these things should appear for you. Now let's say we wanna zoom in on this clip of this guy walking the tightrope. So what I wanna do is put my playhead where I wanna start the zoom in. I'm gonna come up to my Inspector, which is right up here in the top right click on the keyframe. Now I'm only gonna be using zoom and position, but you can use any one of these that you want, or you can select the top one, which will keyframe all of the elements here in transform. So now that I've clicked my two keyframes here, we have set a keyframe on our clip. Now in our clip, we notice we have these two little icons down here. And if we click on the diamond, that's gonna show us our keyframes that we created. And right now under transform, we've got one keyframe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move ahead a little bit, say about there, and I'm gonna come back up to my inspector and I'm gonna zoom in by either hovering over the zoom, click, hold, and drag, and I can zoom it like that. Or you can plug in a number if you'd like. Let's say I wanna go to 1.5 times zoom, and let's say I wanna reposition a little bit, so I'm gonna reposition my Y there, or my X a little bit. And now automatically keyframes have been created for me. So if I play through my timeline, we can see we start how the video was and it zooms in for us. And it's gonna stay zoomed in until we keyframe it and then tell it to zoom back out to the original size. So there's a few ways that we can do that. You can move your playhead forward to wherever you wanna start that zoom out. We can actually copy keyframes. So if you click on it and select it, it's gonna be red. We can command or control C and then unselect the clip by clicking off of it. Place your playhead where you want and then use control or command V. And boom, it's gonna paste in that keyframe for us. I'm gonna move my playhead a little bit farther and let's say I want it to go back to its normal original size right here. I'm gonna select the first keyframe, copy it, control C or command C. I'm gonna deselect it, come up here on my clip, control V or command V and boom, we're zoomed back out. Now, when we play it all together, here's how it looks. And there you go, you just created some easy custom zooming here in DaVinci Resolve. Couple bonus tips for you. If you wanna see all of the keyframes that we created, which were the X and the Y axis, as well as the X and the Y zoom, come on to your clip, and we have this little drop down right here. And if you click on that, now it shows us all of the different keyframes that we created. And you can come in here and select one, adjust it, move it by clicking on it and dragging it if you want. You've got options on different things you can do with the keyframes right here. Another bonus tip for you, if you want it to ease in and ease out of those keyframes, all you have to do is hover over one of your keyframes. You can right click on it and you have the option to set it to linear, ease in, ease out, or ease in and out. And that'll help make your transition a little bit smoother there on the zoom that we made. So it's as easy as that creating an easy, simple zoom in DaVinci Resolve. Now that you know how to create a cool custom zoom in on your clip, you might want to learn a little bit more about Resolve. And I've got a bunch of videos over here that you can check out and hopefully help get you learning Resolve a little bit quicker. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.